All right, guys, everybody must hear the news. CSEC says paper one and your math SBA. Let's go. Join my class. Text at number 5492161. Let's go. First come, first serve, guys. Let's go. See the number there, 5492161. All right, let's do a couple questions. It's a what percentage of 30 is 6, and that would be 6 over 30 multiplied by 100. Percent, right? So we have this into this one, this into this five, five into itself one, and five into a hundred goes twenty times. So our answer would be B. So I do a couple guys because I won't have enough time to do it. Plus this come first, right? The number three point one four zero six three is correct. The three decimal places is so first we go right to the fourth decimal place. So that's three point one. Four zero six three. So we check our first three, go to the fourth one. If it's five and greater, we add one. So that would give us three point one. Zero plus one is one, so that would be e. Now for this one, it says express four and three eight as a decimal. Now all we have to do is to convert this three over eight as a decimal. And to do that, all we do is divide three by eight. 8 into 3, that goes 0 times, put to our decimal point, 8 into 30 goes 3 times, 3 times 8, 24, and then we subtract, which gives us 6, carry down our 0, so now we have 60, 8 into 60 goes, what from that left, 6, 6, yeah, 8 into 60 goes 7 times, 8, 7, 56. So all we have to do now is just subtract and we get four third on another zero and that gives us five. So we put the number now, we currently have four point three seven five and they did say to three significant figures. So we go one, two, three. So we check this one. If it's five and greater, we add one. So we add one to seven, we get eight. All right, let's go again. It says now. There are 40 students in a class. Girls make up 60% of the class. 25% are girls. 25% of the girls wear glasses. How many girls in the class wear glasses? So first, we need to know what is 60% of 40. 60% mean out of 100. All right. And we just find 60%. So that gives us 6 times 4. So that means there are 24 girls in all. But... Out of that 24 girls, only 25% of them wear glasses. And we know how we go already. 25 over 100 since it's percentage. And we times it by 24. So this goes 1 and this goes 4. And then we can divide, which gives us 6. So I'm going too fast, guys. You definitely need to be a part of my class. Let's go. Let's go. 5.92161. If 5, 6 is shared in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 9, the difference between the largest and the smallest share is. So all we have to do is to add the total ratio because this 560 represents the total ratio. So add this and we get 14. All right. So what we can see now, we can find what is one share. It is easier way to do it. So one share is worth 14. And all of that gives us 5, 6. So all we have to do is divide by 14 to find out what's the value of one share. And that gives us, this into this goes 4 times. So it's 40. So one share is 40. But guess what? This one has 9 share. So 90 times 40 will give us 360. And then 2 times 40 give us 80, which is a lower share. We subtract, and we get 280. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Join the class. 5492161. Share this video. If somebody you know doing math, I want to join the multiple choice. This is a promo. This is not really a workout. Let's go. Let's go. 5492161. Mr. Bennett, the number to contact. All right, he said, if 60% of a number is 90, what is a number? So what they're saying, we find 60% of a number. We don't know what the number is, but we know that the result should be 90. 
So far, we have to do now, and guys, if you join my class, your speed will increase. All we have to do is to strand pose. So what speed divided is going to multiply, and what speed multiplied is going to be divided. And then we can take it from there. We can use 6 into this. 3 into 6 goes 2 times. And then 3 times. So now we can use 2. 2 into 100 goes 50 times. And we multiply 2 times 50. So that's 150. Let's look at number 7. Some more as we're fluent and doing you know, guys. Negative 2. Negative 1 over 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. That's what the cube means. Means the number multiplied by itself 3 times. So that's negative. So now we get negative 1 over 8. 2, 2 is 4. 2, 4 is 8. So that would be 8. Let's go, let's go. Hit the like button, guys. Even though it's a promo. What is the highest common factor of the set of numbers? First, we check all the numbers that can go into here. Can 9 go into all of these? All right, good. Check so. Can 18 go into all of these without a remainder? So that would be 18. Let's look at 9. If 3 is an odd number, which of the following is even? Now we have odd, even, then odd, right? We don't know what number is it exactly. But whatever it is, if you subtract 1, you're going to get the opposite, right? It is the even. First thing about it, you have one, two, three. Next one, the add one, get a odd. Get a even, right? The subtract one, even. All right, let's move on to number 10. This is not really a video, it's just a promo. You guys must link me up and let have a class. All right, let's go. This one, so now by distributive law, 49 times 17 plus 49 times 3. So what we do, we take what is common, so it's 49, and then we add 17 and 3, which is 20. So our answer would be D. This one says, which of the following the set is equivalent to A, B, C, D? Now, any set with 4, and that would be C. Don't be tempted with this. This is when you have the number of elements being 4. Now, the number of elements is not 4. All right, so if u is equal to 1, 3, 5, and a is equal to 3, 6, then the number of elements in a prime is, you know, all you have to do is just, you can represent it on a Venn diagram and kind of look at it. So a is a set containing 3 and 6, all right? So then you would have on the outside 1, 5, and 8. So if this is a, all of what's here, here is a prime. So that will be one, two, three numbers. All right. Very good question. In the Venn diagram above, the shaded area represents, now look at the shaded region, it's everywhere except the P. So that is the complement of P or P prime. Optimus prime. Let's go, let's go. And guys, you do not get these questions repeat, but you have to know how to do them because sometimes they're changeable. In the figure above, x represents the set of multiples of 4, and y represents the set of multiples of 5. So multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. All right, let's do 5, 5, 10, 20, no, 15 first, 25, right? So there we see it will be 20. The set of numbers would be 20. Hey, let's go again, let's go again, let's go. More, 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 more. We want more, what do you say? No, I don't want to be so far yet. Why am I going so fast? Anyway, guys, join the class and then we can do, all right? Whatever. So this one says no. A plot of land is valued at $18,000. Land is charged at a rate of 70 cents per 100. So what we need to know, we need to know how many 18,000 is in, how many 100 is in this 18,000, which gives us 180, right? And all we have to do now is multiply by the 70 cents. So we just ignore the decimal point at first. 
zero times anything on zero because zero seven zero zero seven eight fifty six seven one seven and five well so that's one twenty six and remember because we multiply by seventy cents it's two decimal places one two so that's one twenty six guys I need to join my class let's go let's go all right address which cost one hundred eighty dollars in sold at a discount ten percent the amount of the discount is, guys, be careful with this. Notice where it asks for the discount amount. So percent mean out of 100. So we times it by 180. Let me just put the number so you guys, just in case you join, and you want to be a part of our class, which I'm actually promoting now. Still, I got to do some videos for you guys, but on the last day, all right? Let's go, guys. Very cheap. Contact me. Get the banking info, make the payment, and let's get ready to rumble. All right? We cannot fail much from here. We cannot. It's impossible. All right, let's look at number 17. Very nice question. These are pretty nice. All right, this one now says, the table above shows the rate charged by an insurance company. How much would a person pay for his insurance if his house is valued at fifty thousand and the content is ten thousand dollars? So let us take our house for first, which is equal to the value is fifty thousand dollars. But remember, we pay in a rate of fifty cents. So we need to know how many one hundred is in this first, right? When we divide them by a hundred, just class of two which is 500 now the rate is very important the rate is 50 cent so we can convert 50 cent to, to um, a decimal which is one two so that's 0 0.50 right so if you're multiplying by a half it's as if you're just dividing by two so this works out to 250 for the oats let's look at the content now the content has a value of Ten thousand dollars. So we need to know how many one hundred, because they give us a rate in hundred. We need to know how many one hundred is in it. So we divide by a hundred, which gives us one hundred. Now they gave us a rate of twenty-five cents. So it's two different rates. So we do the same thing: twenty-five over hundred. We need to convert that to a decimal. One two. So that's zero point two five. So 0 0.25 times 100, we just move in the decimal point two place, which gives us 25. So we add 25 to this right here, which gives us 275. Very nice question, CSEC. We'll be ready, guys. Just contact the number 876-549-2161. A man bought a call for 200 dollars only to gain a 50 dollars. What was his gain as a percentage of the cost price? So he sold it, so the profit would be 50. They say of the cost price, which this is the cost price. So it would be 50 over 200 times 100 percent. Work out that and see what it gives us. All right. It's one, five into this, four, four into this code, 25 percent. All right. This one, no, 19, very nice question. Consumer arithmetic. If the simple interest on it is $100 for two years, is $54. What is the rate of interest per annum? So, what we know that simple interest, so we set it up like what we know, and then we put you out. All right. Very important, guys, for you to get all marks on the multiple choice. Very important. So, we know that the simple interest is 54, so we'll put the 54 there. Principal is 800. See here, it was given. Um, the time is 3. We don't know what the rate is, so we're going to use R to represent it. And surely we can see that we're searching for R, right? It's the only unknown. The transpose make R the subject of the formula. So this is being divided, so we're going to multiply. Guys, just join the class. We can go slow. And so, all right. This is just a promotion video, and then this is being multiplied so it times. But join the class where we can go slow and go to stop together. All right, two into this code one time, two into this code one, I remember two, so that's 18 over eight. And we can
can break it down, right? Let's go to use um, two, which gives us nine over four. And then four into this goes two times and one over four. All right, let's move on to 25. We stop at 20, 25. A customer buys a table and I have purchased makes a deposit of $206 and pays six monthly installments of each uh, total cost to the customer is. And again, guys, just join the class so you can ask questions. $60 for six months is a flat rate, so we multiply it by six, which gives us 360. And we add 300, we get all right, I'm not writing that number though. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so let's move up to 21. A man pays 60 cents for every two M3 of gas used plus a fixed charge of $13.75. How much does he pay when he used 555,000 rather M3 of gas? Would you guys work out that if you're in exam? Are you do you guys think you need to join the class? Let me just put the number. So you guys, I definitely want you guys to join. It's a very cheap rate. Just WhatsApp me at 876-549-2161. So we can work together. Alright, so let's just look at it. So we need to know how many 200 because I gave us the 200 MG rate, which is 60 cents. So we need to know how many 200 is in this. So let's go. We're going to divide by 200, 2 into 5 goes 2 times, that remainder 1, 2 into 15 goes 7 times, remainder 1, so now we have 10 divided by 2, which is 5, so in this we have 275, and they did say the rate was 60 cents, 60 cents is the same as 0 0.6, so we're going to multiply by 60 cents, so we have 0, 6, 5, 30, Three carry zero six seven forty two and that forty five. Guys, a lot of practice. Why we can do it for six two twelve and that six two twelve and that sixteen. Now we did multiply by sixty cents, so it's two decimal places one two. So our answer for that would be one sixty five. Let's move on to thirty twenty two. A company employs 22 gardeners at $26 per day and 8 clerks at $17 per day. What is the mean daily wage in dollars of the 20 employees? So what we're going to do, we're going to consider, get the aggregate score for this. So we have 26 by 12. 26 is 12. 2 carry 1. 2, 2 is 4 and 1, 5. All right, join the class guys. 1, 6, 6. 1, 2, 2. So when we add this, we get 2. 6 and 5, 1. So that's 3, 12. Next, we're going to take the 8 perks at $17 per day. So that's 17 times 8, 8, 7, 56. 8 plus 8, 8 plus 2, that's 5 and 3, 13. So that's 136. Now, all we have to do is just add this. I will get 4, 4. So that's 448. And now we divide by total number of persons. Remember, that's how we find the mean, which is 20 employees, so we divide by 20. Let's go, guys. Let's join the class, so you guys can be a part of our class. 20 into that goes a part. 20 into that, 2. 2 times that give you 40. Subtract, we get 4. Carry down to 8, we get another 2. Put our decimal point, 2, two times that, 40. Subtract, we get 8. Carry down the zero, that's 80. 20 into 80 goes four times, so that's 22. Guys, just join my class so you can be fast as I am now, all right? And efficient. So we have four over five X plus two over five X, all right? When the denominator is the same, all we have to do is simply add the numerator. So we have six and five over X. All right, so that would be A. Let's go. 24. If X is an integer that satisfies inequality, this came on the paper two persons seem to struggle with that. So I'm going to paper two is over. Let's get it right in the multiplication. So now we divide by two because we want to get X by itself. It's an equation, this called inequality. So we do anything to that side. So 4 into 2. 
24 goes two times, and you have less than x. And then we divide this. But we careful at the signs, guys. All right. Notice this is less than or equal to. So we got the same exact thing. All right. And so then put the negative to check it. And turn it wrong. No, I can't check it. All right. So for the last one now, guys, make sure that you join the class. The expression negative 2 bracket x minus 4. Now, all we have to do is to simply say, okay, the bracket means to multiply. So we're going to multiply negative times a positive, that's negative 2 times x, 2x. And negative times a negative, that's positive, and 2 fourths, 3. And that is be our answer. All right, guys, so let's do this, guys. Join my class. Just WhatsApp me at 876-519-2161. And my name is Lennox Benny. Let's go. See you guys soon. Just WhatsApp me and we can work together. All right. I will try to do some video the last day before exam. However, join the class so you can go through all of them with me and you can ask your questions and you can get the maximum marks. This is number one priority now. All right. No paper two that is crap. And you guys have to get at least. 58 out of the depending on your SPA grade, all right? To get the one, you have to get at least 20 out of 20 for your multiple choice. No, for the SPA and at least 58. It's going to be very competitive. You have to get everything right. 60 out of 60, if you want to get the one guarantee, all right? So let's go. See you guys soon. What's up that number? 549 2161.